Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, December 30th, 2019. Got a free college football bowl pick coming up on this report. First quick note, if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com and want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video. Get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. It is as simple as that. You can use that on anybody else on the roster for that matter also. Again, free $60 dollar account and all you got to do is click on the link below the video to get started free trial run over at docsports.com all right bounce back sunday for us as we went four one and one overall uh, we cashed a profit in the nfl thanks to a real nice six unit winner our top play on sunday on the cincinnati Bengals, as they were able to not only knock off the cleveland browns but send freddie kitchens packing as he got the axe on sunday after the game from the cleveland browns organization but a nice one there with cincy appreciate those who jumped on board after struggling on Saturday's football card. Uh, so a nice profit there in, in, in the NFL. And as far as college basketball and everything else, I passed in the NBA. We swept college basketball going 2-0, and we won in the NHL. By the way, college basketball, going back to last Saturday, so about the last eight days or so, we are now 88% winners going 7-1 with one push with our college basketball sides. Yesterday was easy as it gets. We had a nice five-unit play on LSU over uh, Liberty, who came into the game undefeated at 14-0. Going to tell you a little bit more about that in just a second. And we also cashed with Rhode Island, who just blew out the opposition in that game. NHL, a nice winner with the Flyers as they get the win in overtime for us. And I told you what happened in the NFL. <clears throat> as far as that Liberty LSU game in college baskets, which was our top basketball play on Sunday. And I mentioned Liberty came into that game on a 14-0, well, with a 14-0 record for the season. And yeah, just a little heads up, when you see a team that's 10-0 or better to start the season, they're on the road, they're getting points, they're coming off a game where they covered the spread, obviously won because they're 10-0, but also covered the spread in the process. There's been some real nice situations, game 11 and forward, uh, to go against those teams. And with Liberty, the best team in their conference, uh, but thus far had played a pretty weak schedule for the most part, having to play out at LSU, uh, we had the talent edge for us and also felt the spread was a little bit too short because of the uh, outstanding record that the Flames own. Plus, they've been busy. A lot of travel for Liberty over the last couple of weeks. So again, nice win there. Five unit play. And again, we'll go into Monday on a nice 7-1 and one college basketball run with our college sides. And here's what's going on for Monday at us. We've got bowl action. I've got one bowl play on Monday. It's a five unit play, by the way. And I've got three bowl plays all together between Monday and Thursday's early game. So go grab that right now over at DocSports.com. It includes, of course, that five unit play in Monday's bowl action. I've also got uh, NBA on Monday. We've got NBA. I've got at least two college basketball plays for Monday, potentially three, uh, but two for sure on Monday's card as we look to extend our college run to 9-1-1 one, one with our last 11 college basketball plays. College basketball available 11.30 a.m. Eastern each and every day of the week. DocSports.com NFL, excuse me, NBA is available at 1 p.m. Eastern and uh, the football plays, the bowl plays that remain, three of them, are available right now as we speak over at DocSports.com and look to cash on Monday with that five unit play. All right, a little bit of information on the upcoming uh, playoffs in the NFL after everything that took place on Sunday. And we've got the wild card, of course, weekend coming up. And I uh, just wanted to kind of give you a betting report at one of the books that's coming to us from William Hill uh, on Sunday night. Sent these to us, and we appreciate uh, them sending us these numbers. But, of course, the Texans laying three to the Bills. Patriots laying five and a half to uh, the Titans. Some fives out there. Saints laying eight for the most part over Minnesota. Seahawks won one, one and a half point favorite favorite on the road at the Eagles. And as we look at what's taken place with the betting in these games thus far, uh, we have seen a little bit of action, more uh, than 50% of the action thus far coming in on the Patriots from where they open, coming in on the Saints from where they open, but it's early, so we don't want to uh, think too much about that right now. As far as if you're looking ahead to betting the Super Bowl right now, the AFC, a three-point favorite over the NFC uh, coming up in the Super Bowl 54. Just a real quick note, kind of fun stuff on some of the odds. If you look at the longest odds available uh, to the teams that have made the postseason and when uh, those longest odds were available. Uh, you can look to, for instance, the Ravens, who are currently 11-5, to the favorite to win uh, the whole thing this year. They were 50-1 to back on July 30th uh, this past summer. But the biggest 
long shot, I guess you could say, of the teams that are in the playoffs right now uh, going back to October, just mid-October, October 18th, 2019, you could have got the Tennessee Titans at 300 to 1. Now, uh, there are, they are the, uh, the, the highest odds of the teams that made the postseason. Of course, they got to play on the road right out of the blocks at New England. They're 60 to 1. Speaking of the Patriots right now, they are 12 to 1. That's been the highest they've been all season, 12 to 1 to win Super Bowl 54. And uh, But just some interesting numbers there. The Bills, for instance, were 150 to 1 on November 1st to win the Super Bowl. They are currently 50 to 1. You'll remember they opened up at 100 to 1 last uh, January. And as far as the national championship games thus far, the betting report uh, on those games, we've seen nothing but LSU action, both tickets and money. 90% of the action thus far on LSU has sent that number, for instance, at William Hill, all the way up to five and a half. And uh, that total sitting at 70. And so far, over 70% of the tickets and the money have come in on the over at that particular book. So just some interesting uh, situations going on for the wild card uh, round of the NFL playoffs and, of course, for uh, the championship game in college football. Thought you guys would like to know. And we'll update that every couple of days until we get to uh, the weekend in the NFL and, of course, the championship game in college football. So you know what's going on for us on Monday? Go grab that NFL. Excuse me. I keep saying NFL. Go grab the college football bowl play on Monday. It's a five-unit side. Get three bowl plays and all available right now. Don't miss out on our basketball plays on Monday. Again, just red hot college basketball over the past week plus. Also in the NBA. Passed on Sunday. Back in action on Monday. Get a pass that one game in the NHL. Don't like that at all. And uh, chalk it. That one's like 250 anyway. So, all right. So let's get to our free pick for today's card on Monday. And we are going to look at the bowl battle between Mississippi State and Louisville. And we're going to back Mississippi State here in the Music City Bowl in Nashville and kind of when I look at this 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 game I, I keep thinking that the Cardinals are going to have to play much better defense than we're used to seeing them play uh, to be able to hang this number and possibly get the win we like Miss State here there's also a different approach going on here if you look at this Louisville Cardinals program they're really building in a springboard for next year just by getting to a bowl game where Miss State is really looking to send uh, their seniors out on a winning note kind of a pat on the back for job well done and I don't think that Louisville is going to be able to slow down the Miss State offense enough to be able to get this win. I think there's going to be some points scored in this one. Uh, I do like Mississippi State to win the game. I'm going to say a final score of roughly 35 to 25, 35 to 24 uh, in that range, about a 10 to 11 point win for Mississippi State in this one. Again, I just don't think Louisville can consistently stop the Bulldog offense in this game. You saw what they did against Kentucky. I mean, Kentucky's a horrible offense and Louisville just got torched by the Wildcats. And I get it. It's a different situation, but I like the Bulldogs to get the victory and the cover over Louisville on uh, Monday's card. So that's our free play for Monday, Mississippi State over Louisville in the bowl game. Go grab all my stuff over at DocSports.com for Monday. And uh, again, we'll be right back here Tuesday morning by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific, if not a little bit earlier. Let's put Monday in the win column. We'll talk to you on Tuesday. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.